Proto-Thai is the reconstructed common ancestor proto -language of all the Thai languages, including modern Lao, Shan, Thai Lu, Thai Dam, Ahom, Northern Thai, Thai, Baoye, and Zhuang. The proto-Thai language is not directly attested by any surviving texts, but has been reconstructed using the comparative method. It was reconstructed in 1977 by Li Fang Kui and by Pitiawat Pitiaporn in 2009. Phonology Consonants The following table shows the consonants of Proto-Thai according to Li Fang Kui's A Handbook of Comparative Thai 1977, considered the standard reference in the field. Li does not indicate the exact quality of the consonants denoted here as t, t and d, which are indicated in his work as c, z and described merely as palatal affricate consonants. The table below lists the consonantal phonemes of Pitiawat Pitiaporn. S2009 Reconstruction of Proto-Thai, Pitiaporn 2009-70. Some of the differences are simply different interpretations of Li. S consonants, the palatal consonants are interpreted as stops, rather than affricates, and the glottalized consonants are described using symbols for implosive consonants. However, Pitiaporn's proto-Thai reconstruction has a number of real differences from Li. Pitiaporn does not allow for aspirated consonants, which he reconstructs as secondary developments in southwestern Thai languages, after proto-Thai split up into different languages. He also reconstructs a contrastive series of uvular consonants, namely asterisk, q, asterisk, t, and asterisk, chi. No modern dialect preserves a distinct series of uvular consonants. Pitiaporn's reconstruction of the sounds is based on irregular correspondences in differing modern Thai dialects among the sounds k, x, and h, in particular in the Phuan language and the Kapong dialect of the Phu Thai language. The distinction between k and x can be reconstructed from the Thai Don language. However, words with x in Thai Don show three different types of correspondences in Phuan and Kapong Phu Thai, some have k in both languages, some have h in both, and some have k in Phuan but h in Kapong Phu Thai. Pitiaporn reconstructs the correspondence classes as reflecting proto-Thai, X, Chi, and Q, respectively. There is a total of 33 to 36 consonants, 10 to 11 consonantal syllable codas, and 25 to 26 tautosyllabic consonant clusters. Thai languages have many fewer possible consonants in coda position than in initial position. Li and most other researchers construct a proto-Thai coda inventory that is identical with the system in modern Thai. Pitiaporn's proto-Thai reconstructed consonantal syllable codas also include asterisk L, asterisk C, and possibly asterisk, which are not included in most prior reconstructions of proto-Thai, Pitiaporn 2009-193. Below is a table of the consonantal syllabic coda inventory proposed by Pitiaporn 2009. Consonant clusters Li 1977 reconstructs the following initial clusters. Pitiaporn 2009 reconstructs two types of complex onsets for proto-Thai. Tautosyllabic clusters, considered one syllable. Sesquisyllabic clusters. One and a half. Syllables. Sesquisyllabic. Is a term coined by James Matasoff. However, sesquisyllabic clusters are not attested in any modern Thai language. Tautosyllabic consonant clusters from Pitiaporn 2009-139 are given below, some of which have the medials asterisk R, asterisk L, and asterisk W. Pitiaporn's proto-Thai reconstruction also has sesquisyllabic consonant clusters. Michel Furlis, 1990, had also previously proposed sesquisyllables for proto-Thai ye. The larger Thai Kadai family is reconstructed with disyllabic words that ultimately collapsed to monosyllabic words in the modern Thai languages. However, irregular correspondences among certain words, especially in the minority non-southwestern Thai languages, suggest to Pitiaporn that Proto-Thai had only reached the sesquisyllabic stage with a main monosyllable and optional preceding minor syllable. The subsequent reduction to monosyllables occurred independently in different branches, with the resulting apparent irregularities in synchronic languages reflecting Proto-Thai sesquisyllables. 
Examples of sesquisyllables include other clusters include asterisk r, t, asterisk t, h, asterisk q, s, asterisk m, p, asterisk s, c, asterisk z, asterisk g, r, asterisk m, n, asterisk g m, r, asterisk m, r, asterisk c dot p l dash, asterisk g, l w, etc. Vowels Below are prototy vowels from Pitayaporn 2009-192. Unlike Li's system, Pitayaporn's system has vowel length contrast. There is a total of seven vowels with length contrast and five diphthongs. The diphthongs from Pitayaporn 2009 are rising, asterisk, i, asterisk, p, asterisk, u, falling, asterisk, p, asterisk, a. Tones proto Thai had three contrasting tones on syllables ending with sonorant finals. Live syllables. And no tone contrast on syllables with obstruent finals. Dead syllables. This is very similar to the situation in Middle Chinese. For convenience in tracking historical outcomes, proto Thai is usually described as having four tones, namely asterisk A, asterisk B, asterisk C, and asterisk D. Pitayaporn 2009, where asterisk D is a non-phonemic tone automatically assumed by all dead syllables. These tones can be further split into a voiceless asterisk A1, 1, asterisk B1, 3, asterisk C1, 5, asterisk D1, 7, and voiced asterisk A2, 2, asterisk B2, 4, asterisk C2, 6, asterisk D2, 8, series. The asterisk D tone can also be split into the asterisk DS short vowel and asterisk DL long vowel tones. With voicing contrast, these would be asterisk ds1, 7, asterisk ds2, 8, asterisk dl1, 9, and asterisk dl2, 10. The following table of the phonetic characteristics of proto-Thai tones was adapted from Pitayaporn 2009-271. Note that asterisk b and asterisk d are phonetically similar. Proto-Thai tones take on various tone values and contours in modern Thai languages. These tonal splits are determined by the following conditions. Friction sounds. Aspirated onset, voiceless fricative, voiceless sonorant. Unaspirated onset, voiceless. Glottalized, implosive onset, voiceless. Voiced onset, voiceless. In addition, William J. Jetney developed a tone box. Method to help determine historical tonal splits and mergers in modern Thai languages. There is a total of 20 possible slots in what is known as a Jedni box. For a tutorial on Jedni boxes, see A Checklist for Determining Tones in Thai Dialects, 1989, by William Jedni. Proto-Thai tones correspond regularly to Middle Chinese tones. Note that Old Chinese did not have tones. The following tonal correspondences are from Luo, 2008. Note that Proto-Thai tone asterisk B corresponds to Middle Chinese tone C, and vice versa. Jedni, 1972, also included a list of diagnostic words to determine tonal values, splits, and mergers for particular Thai languages. At least three diagnostic words are needed for each cell of the Jedni box. The diagnostic words preceding the semicolons are from Jedni, 1972, and the ones following the semicolons are from Samsung, 2012, and Jackson, et al., 2012. Standard Thai Siamese words are given below, with transliterations in italics. Note that the diagnostic words listed above cannot all be used for other Thai Kadai branches such as Kam Sui, since tones in other branches may differ. The table below illustrates these differences among Thai and Kam Sui Edema. Proto Southern Kra Dai in 2007, Peter K. Norquest undertook a preliminary reconstruction of Proto Southern Kra Dai, which is ancestral to the Hlai languages, Ong Bi language, and Thai languages. There are 28 consonants, 5 to 7 vowels, 9 closed rhymes, not including vowel length, and at least one diphthong, asterisk op c. Proto Southern Kra Dai medial consonants also include 
asterisk C B M asterisk C B N asterisk C B asterisk C B asterisk C B I L asterisk C U R asterisk P I L Asterisk KL Proto Southern KRA Di also includes the diphthong asterisk off C. Syllable structure Unlike its modern day monosyllabic descendants, Proto Thai was a sesquisyllabic language. Pitayaporn 2009. Below are some possible Proto Thai syllable shapes from Pitayaporn 2009 64. Legend C equals consonant B equals vowel Smiley face, equals optional vowel length T equals tundering the evolution from Proto-Thai to modern Thai languages. Monosyllabification involved a series of five steps, Pitayaporn 2009 to 181. Weakening segment becomes less consonant-like. Implosivization Metathesis Assimilation Simplification Syllable drops at least one constituent. Morphology Robert M. W. Dixon 1998, suggests that the Proto-Thai language was fusional in its morphology because of related sets of words among the language's descendants that appear to be related through oblaut. Syntax Proto-Thai had a SVO subject -verb -object word order like Chinese and all modern Thai languages. Its syntax was heavily influenced by Chinese. Evolution See Thai languages hashtag Pitayaporn 2009 See also List of Proto-Thai reconstructions Wiktionary Proto-Kra language Proto-HLAI language Proto-Austronesian language Austro-Thai languages References Notes Sources Further reading External links ABVD, Proto-Thai Word List ABVD, Proto-Southwestern Thai Word List ABVD, Word Lists of Kra Dai Languages Dictionaries Database Query to Thai Kadai Etymology Thai Lexicography Resources